For Autoblog, I'm Jesse Combs. Right behind me is the start-finish line for the 2017 King of the Hammers, one of the most grueling off-road races in the world. And right behind you is the car that I'm going to be competing in with my co-driver, Martin Castro. We're going to be giving you a full experience in 360 VR. You're going to be inside the car with us, riding along in the race course, and we can even put a camera underneath the car. I hope you're ready for that one. Come on, let's go for the ride. Sharing my love of cars with the world is a lifelong passion, and as race technology and social connectivity progresses, I'm committed to bringing you the experience from every angle. This is Autoblog 360 VR. This is the car that I'm going to be competing in the 2017 King of the Hammers, the most grueling off-road race in the world. King of the Hammers is one of those races that you can't find anywhere else. It's a mix between high-speed desert racing and low-speed rock crawling through some gnarly canyons. If you guys want to check out another King of the Hammers episode, Autoblog's original series, The List, A Thousand and One Car Things to Do Before You Die, Patrick McIntyre, my co-host, and I came out and raced King of the Hammers in the spec class, and that was the first year that I not only finished, but we also won. Now behind you is the start finish line and all of Hammertown, a town that gets stuck out in the middle of the desert just for this race. Hammertown is crazy. We're out on the Dry Means Lake Bed in Johnson Valley, Southern California. When it comes to race week, this entire place becomes a town. There's actually streets, there's signs, there's a downtown, there's suburbs. It's pretty amazing how big this race actually is. This year we're racing in the 4400 class, which is an unlimited class, so you can basically run anything that you want to be able to get you across the finish line. So in the past we had to run 37 inch tires, this year we're stepping up to 40 inch BFG tires. Now in a race like this, you want to make sure that your tire stays on the wheel, so we run V-Lock wheels. We also have a worn winch up front just in case we get stuck in the rocks. Now back here we got a high capacity fuel fill into a 37 gallon fuel cell. We got tranny coolers, spare belts, spare tires, jacks, and of course we have the quadruple bypass dual coilover shock setup. Now suspension has to be probably one of the most important things in this race because we got to go high speeds through the desert and we also go really slow speeds articulating through the rocks. So if this isn't tuned right, it's going to be a bad day at King of the Hammers. We're going to go get suited up. We'll see you in a bit. Today's race day, we're lined up. We're about ready to hit the start finish line. We're qualified number 49th out of 122. Do you know the first 10 turns? Copy. Three, two, one. about 170 miles. There's about a 60 mile big desert loop that after we get past remote pit one, it's just brutal, awful desert. We have a shortcut. No, no negative, negative, stay here. Copy. Do we have a shortcut here? Negative. Is this green yet? No, it's not. One car on the left, square it out. Okay, you got this slight left uphill, really whoops. Copy. Left lane looks okay. Watch his dust. I seriously can't. Copy. Yeah, take it. Go, 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 go. Honk, honk. Green to go yellow. Big drop, oh big drop. Oh my god. How did we get in this lane? Right, right. Up and over. Oh, they had it even a slicker bypass. No, they don't. It's rocky. Okay, danger. There's danger through all this. There's lots of rocks. Once we get back into the main pits after that 60-ish miles, we go out on a different desert loop and it ends up going through all of the rock canyons. So we have probably about 10 to 15 different rock canyons that we have to drive to. And these are gnarly, 
gnarly giant rock boulder canyons, weird obstacles that we have to try and navigate our way through. And then plus you have all of the other teams. So if somebody happens to break or there happens to be like a bottleneck or a traffic jam somewhere, that's when things start getting really, really interesting. I've been racing now for about 10 years, I guess you could say on a somewhat professional level. That experience doesn't necessarily mean absolutely anything when it comes to a race like this. Anything can happen out there. It's anybody's race. Martin, my co-driver, and I have been co-driving now for two years together. We have some experience under our belt with each other. I want to follow our course. Copy. Well, this is our course. Okay. This is what we drove. Honk, honk. He is the lead mechanic on the car, so if anything were to happen with the car when we're out in the middle of the desert, he will be able to fix it quick and efficiently, which is really nice. Go through the squeeze. I, I don't... That's I don't. not course. That's not course. Up, down, right. Go through this. We're going to drop into the wash. Danger at the wash. Drop Stay it straight. straight. Copy. Drop. Drop. Shut up. I'm okay. Are you alright? <laughs> did this happen, dude? There's a boulder up here that got underneath your, uh, your right side of I've done this 500 times. Are we gonna be able to recover? Yes. Can no. you guys help us? Are we out? No. 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 Martin, can we get out of it? I think so. Yeah. Let me pull the steering wheel. Okay, you're out. Copy. Try and start it. Door, but it was actually a really quick recovery. We were back up. Jesse Combs, everybody, our unofficial 12th place finisher of the 2017 Nitto King of the Hammers. All right, guys, that's it for Racing King of the Hammers. I really hope you enjoyed it. We will see you next time, and make sure you check out more 360 VR on Autoblog VR app. Let's party!